welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing my, I guess, montage of all my 2021 finishes for the first six months. So thank you to Ellen to, who suggested that I do a half year kind of like, here's all everything I've completed. So according to my spreadsheet, I have done 47 projects up to June 30th. Um, and I do a lot of small diamond paintings, so that's probably why I have this much. So, and I do a lot of partials and special shapes too, so that could have probably upped my count here. So let's start with the very first one. So here's the first diamond painting here. This is... Um, I call this stained glass rose. It's a 30 by 40 square from Home Fun on AliExpress. So yeah, this was my very first diamond painting of the year. This is, I, I just loved how this turned out. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to talk too much because I could end up talking a lot, right? So yeah, here's my first one here. My second one is this one here. This is... Um, from Amazon from YHZI. It's a 25 by 35 round drill. Um, this was actually the very first diamond painting that I got um, as a review for free kind of diamond painting. So that's, that's good. It's the first time someone was like, hey, you have a YouTube channel. Maybe we can send you some product and you can show it on your YouTube channel. So it was kind of exciting. I was like, it's my first, my very, very first, I guess, um, collaboration. So yeah, this is that one. So next one. Whew. Is it all on screen? All right. So next one, this one is, I call this Peony. This is from Huacan on AliExpress. It's a square diamond painting. It's a 40 by 40. And this I actually got as a AliExpress freebie. If you don't know what an AliExpress freebie is, if you download the AliExpress app, there is a icon there that says freebies and you're allowed to sign up for two a day. And this is one of the ones that I finished. I mean, I, I won. I've won three. I have not won another one in a, like since I won like last maybe November. So yeah, I don't think AliExpress is giving me any more freebies, but this was one of my AliExpress freebies. And I thought this turned out really, really well. I, I got sick of pink after a while doing this diamond painting. So next one is this one. This one, I call this a pastel chicken. This was from Art Dot on Amazon. It, it was like part of a four pack. It's a 25 by 35 round, and yeah, it's just a nice, fun one to do. My next one is this one. This one is a full rhinestone diamond painting. It's a 30 by 40 from store 326232 on AliExpress. Um, yeah. It, this this was part of my I think this was my second full rhinestone diamond painting and it and it kind of was what triggered me to like keep going on the rhinestone the whole my rhinestone journey so if you haven't done a full rhinestone diamond painting I do highly recommend it it does look a lot different than normal diamond painting so it's a little bit of a shock factor after you finish it but yeah no this one was really really fun I actually did like a time-lapse video of me doing this from start to finish. So if it's somewhere on my channel. So yeah, there's that one. So those were my first five finishes and I did those all, I finished this, those all in January. So let me pause and get the February ones. Okay, this is my first finish for February. I call this croissants and coffee. I got this from AZQSD on AliExpress. It is a 40 by 50 square diamond painting. This is actually currently um, in my kitchen right now and it just makes me smile every time I see it. I'm like, oh, look at, it's a diamond painting, but it, it looks really, really like real. <laughs> so yeah, no, this just makes me smile every time I see this on in my, um, kitchen. 
So my next one is this diamond painting, if it will be all on screen. That might be the extent that I could get it on screen here. Um, but yeah, this one is um, Reverie by Anne-Marie Bone. This is from Dreamer Designs. It's a 60 by 75 centimeter square diamond painting. This is actually the biggest diamond painting I have done. It's also made me realize I'm not a very big fan of the big diamond paintings. I will do them, but I don't get the satisfaction as much as the 40 by 50s and below. I don't know. I'm just maybe I'm just one of those people who who need the satisfaction of a finish right away, but it is very beautiful. Like I had some issues with it, but it is very beautiful. So, yeah, there's my next finish. Okay. Here is See, now I'm going back to my regularly scheduled small diamond painting. So this one, I call the Rainbow Umbrella Girl. This is from Home Fun on AliExpress. It's a 30 by 30 square diamond painting. And there it is. <laughs> so the next one, I did is this diamond painting here. This is from YZHI on Amazon. They also did, this was also a, you know, promotional, like they sent it to me to do the review. So this was actually the second time someone's ever asked me to do that. It was the same company as the one I did on the beach. And this is a 25 by 35 round drill. So, so yeah, that's, oh wait, I missed one. So this was actually finish number 10. So finish number nine, we'll have to take a field trip for it. Okay, so this is actually finish number nine. I just left it on my wall because I was not gonna take this down. So this is a trio of diamond paintings I got from Mian. They are all, they were, all three of them are 37 by 52 centimeters. This is a round drill. I absolutely love how this turned out. This is currently sitting or sitting like on my wall on top of my bed. And I was not about to take it off for this review, but yeah, no, I really, really love how this one turned out. So yeah, that's finish number nine. So yeah, I had five finishes in all in February also. So yeah, so this was finish number 10. I'll go get my finishes for March set up and I'll be back. Okay, this is my first finish for March. I called this Bunny Moon. It's from Mian on AliExpress. It's a 40 by 53 round drill. So yeah, here it is. I did, I did actually bling this one up. Um, so I've been blinging up my diamond paintings recently. It's just one of those things that you do, I think, after you've just been diamond painting a while. You just are like, you know what, I'm just gonna try out some stuff. So yeah, I did bling this up. Um, so yeah, my, so this is finish number 11. So finish 12 is this one here. It, this is, I called this Rainier because I think this looks very much like Mount Rainier. Um, cause I do live in Washington state and in, at least in West, like in where I live, you could see Rainier, like you go hiking somewhere like, oh, look, there's Rainier. You walk down the street, you're like, oh, look, there's Rainier. So <laughs> you're on the ferry and you're like, oh, look, Rainier. So yeah, no, I just thought this looked like Mount Rainier. So I had to get this. So this one is a 45 by 60 square diamond painting. I got this from Evershine on AliExpress. So yeah, this was finish number 12. So here is finish number 13. This is, I call this pink rhinestone, I mean pink roses from Fan Cells. 
Um, and this was a 40 by 50 round drill. I, yeah, I was not very happy with how this ended up turning out, but if you really want to hear me gripe about it, just look at my completion review. So yeah. So number 14 is this diamond painting here. This is a full rhinestone diamond painting that's 40 by 50. I call this was called Purple Rose and it was from Radiant Round DIY. Um, so yeah, this was my first like big full rhinestone diamond painting. And I think this one was the one that was just pretty much prompted me is like, go buy more, go buy more. So I have done a couple full rhinestone diamond paintings, but this one is absolutely beautiful. So I, I still really recommend doing some full rhinestone diamond paintings. So, so my next one is this diamond painting here. Um, I call this Whisper Words of Wisdom. It's from Coco Will on Amazon. It's a 30 by 40 round drill. They did send this to me as a product review. So yeah, I, it's completely outside of my normal um, diamond painting taste, but sometimes you just sometimes need to do something completely different, right? So yeah, there is that one. So that's finish number 15. So finish number 16 is this diamond painting here. Um, do I need to move you up a little to get the whole thing? So yeah, this diamond painting is, uh, it's from QLUO shop. It's a 40 by 50 round stone diamond painting. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think other than, I think the, I, I remember from what I remember, there was kind of a lack of definition here just because there's three different colors here that did not have any real like definition in there. So like you lost a little definition there, but otherwise this looks really, really beautiful. So yeah, so this is finish number 16. So finish number 17 is probably the first of the, these are really small diamond paintings. This is um, a passport cover here. Um, it's this butterfly passport cover. This I got from um, DIY Digital Art. They were the first like, I guess, bigger budget diamond painting company that actually asked me to do a review and they've actually continued to ask me to do reviews. So yeah. This was the first thing I did from them. So this, yeah, this is just a passport cover. I use it to hold my labels. So this is like my journal entry labels here and then my other labels. So yeah, that's a number, what am I on? Number 17. So here is finish number 18. This is also from DIY Digital Art. It's a 40 by 40 round um well i actually also cut the there was a lot more white border around this i did cut it down so this is actually more a 30 by 30 round now so yeah this is my succulent heart from diy digital art um so yeah that's finish 18. so finish number 19 is oops wrong one <laughs> This one's finished number 19. Oops. This one is finished number 19. So here's finish, oops, number 19. This one is also from DIY Digital Art. It's a 30 by 80 round diamond. So I think it must be a 25 by 75 round um, size. Yeah, and then this was also from DIY Digital Art and this is my 19th finish and the last one from March. So. Yeah, finishes 11 to 19 were done in March. So let me gather my April finishes. Okay, these are finishes 20 and 21. There are these tissue boxes. So yeah, so in case you wanna see all sides of it. Um, but yeah, there's the, there are these two tissue boxes here. So 
this is 20 and 21. I got these from Kami Yi Beautiful on AliExpress. Um, and yeah, there's some really, <laughs> there's those ones. Okay. So finish 22, which you saw is this. It's from Fan Cells. It's a partial diamond painting special drill. It's a 25 by 35. And I really, really love how this turned out. So yeah, there is that one. Uh, number 23 is actually this one. Um, this one was completed last year, but yeah, no, this red doll here, it's a 20 by 25 square diamond paintings from Huacan Elena on AliExpress. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks awesome for the size. So, and you can see its companion here that was completed before. So yeah, that's finish number 23. So let me move you up. The next one is bigger. So here is finish number 20. This one is finish number 24. This is actually um, a pattern that I got from Heaven and Earth Designs. It was called the quick montage. The actual montage actually has nine pictures and this is just one of the nine pictures. So I don't know if I could consider this a complete finish, but yeah, no, I diamond painted this using leftover drills and then I had to buy a couple that I didn't have enough, like the skin tone and, and I diamond painted this on a blank canvas. So this was just one of those like challenges. Can I really do this thing? It's not the type of picture I typically do, but some, but mainly I don't do people just because I, I get concerned about their faces, but this one, like, the, I think the face turned out really, really good. So yeah, no, this one is finish number 24. Um, so yeah, that's it for my April. So finishes 20 to 24 were from April, and this one is on a, it's a 40 by 50 square. So yeah, if you haven't done a cross stitch pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs, and you wanna challenge yourself, I recommend you trying it out. Okay, let me get my mace together and I'll be back. Okay, here's my first finish of May. This is Dazzling Flower from Tin Me Art. Sorry for all the glare for the diamond paintings I have on frames. It, I just can't help it. Um, so this is tin, um, from Tin Me Arts. It's, I think it's a 32 by 40 um, round drill and yeah. This one actually had like, I think eight ABs on it. So yeah, if you, if you wanna try out a budget diamond painting company that does sometimes include ABs, you might wanna check out Tin Me Arts. So yeah, there is a, that one. So, so finish number 26 is, this one, it's a butterfly shopping bag. This is what I mean by when, in the beginning, when I was saying that I have lots of finishes, but it might just be because they're small. This is one of the ones that, you know, was just a really, really quick thing. So this is a shopping bag from DIY Digital Art. Um, the only thing that's um, diamond painted is the butterfly here. So yeah, there is, what is, am I on? Finish 26. So finish 27 is uh, this one here. This is actually my oldest diamond painting. This was from my second diamond painting order ever. I just hadn't done it till now. Um, and I actually did this for the Sea Creature DP Fun event. Um, it's a 30 by 40 from Home Fun on AliExpress. It's a square diamond painting. So yeah, um, most of these diamond paintings, I have done a complete um, completion review somewhere on my channel. So if you want to know links for everything, you could go through my completion review like playlist and it should be there somewhere, hopefully. So yeah. So this is finish 27. Finish, where am I at? Finish 28 is 
this one here. It's this owl clock that I got from DIY Digital Art. I actually have not recorded my finished review of this one, mainly because I don't know why didn't I? <laughs> it just seemed it just seemed too small to do a finished review, and I had shown my progress picture of this when I first during the unboxing. But yeah, no, this one is really awesome. I actually have this hanging up in my office wall and it is telling the time <laughs> in case you want to know it's telling the time um, but yeah no this one is really really beautiful I do it does make me want to do another clock <laughs> but yeah let's see so yeah that's finish 28 uh, okay. Finish 29 is this one. I also have not yet done my completion review of this, and that's why it's not cut out yet. Um, so this is um, from DIY Digital Art. It's a 25 by 35 round drill, and it's supposed to be luminous. And I, that's the main reason I have not recorded the completion review of this, because I can't get my camera to... to capture the luminousness and it does it's really beautiful how this glows in the dark so if I ever get a better camera that's when I'll probably record the completion review of this so that I could show the the luminosity of the picture but yeah no this is my finish number 29 so finish number 30 is this diamond painting. This is from Saner Direct on Amazon. This did get sent to me as a product review. Um, it's a 25 by 35 square drill. And if you remember, I actually uh, finished from earlier from Fan Cells. I did this exact same image and I actually did like a comparison of these two when I did my completion review for this one. So yeah. So yeah, there is finish number 30. So finish number 31 is this one here. Let me move you up. Sorry for all the glare again. Um, this one is, um, I called it Leopard Amongst Flowers. It's a 35 by 45, five, yeah, 35 by 45 round drill from Everyday E-Crafts. This did get sent to me as a product review. Um, but yeah, no, this one, I absolutely love how this turned out. I did also bling this up so there are rhinestones in the eyes and like ABs in the flowers. But yeah, I meant to bring this to work to, you know, put up there, but I ended up putting up in my house. I might move it to work sometime. We'll see, but I just really love how this looks. So yeah, so this, yeah, that's from Everyday E-Craft. So my next finish, um, I it was actually the completion review from last week, but it's currently at my work. So I don't have it with me, but it's uh, this diamond painting here. Um, it's with the full rhinestone truck with the flag. Um, like I said, it's currently at my work, so I don't have it with me, but the completion review of this was just last week, so if you haven't seen it, check it out, but this was for my 4th of July. Even though I had finished it a while back, I did not put on my channel until right before the 4th of July, just for, you know, like, just because it's a themed one. So yeah, there is finish number 32. So... Let me move this. So what am I on? Finish number 33 is another small one. It's just this. Um, it's supposed to be a mask holder. This is from DIY Choose. They all, this did get sent to me as a product review. Um, so this is a mask box, but I've been using it to hold some of my labels in here. So... So yeah, this was just one of those quick ones that probably barely took me over an hour, I don't know. You'll always think that you diamond paint much faster than you really do, right? So yeah, there is finish number 33. So 34 is this one here. It's another shopping bag. Um, 
And the only thing that's diamond painted is the owls and the flowers here. So yeah, this one is from FG Normal. Um, yeah, so that's finish number 34. It ju it's just a really cute one and it probably didn't take me that long either. Yeah, I only worked on this over a day and I worked on it on the same day that I worked on the um, finish number 33. So yeah. So finish number 35 is this one right here. This one is from FG Normal. It's a I called it fall wreath, but I had a viewer comment and say that perhaps it's not just a fall wreath because it might have things for all year round. Because see, right here is the fall stuff with the pumpkins here, but over here, um, it's more Christmassy colors. So there's like green here, and this looks like it might be a poinsettia, and then this might be the holly berries. And then over here with the tulips, that's probably spring. So then I'm guessing this side is summer. I'm not sure, maybe because of the strawberries and the and the butterflies and things like that. So I thought this was a fall wreath, but with someone pointing out to me that this is an all year round wreath, I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Now I could just put this up and all year round. I think it was just the predominant orange color that made me think it was a fall wreath. But yeah, I forgot who pointed that out to me, but thank you to the viewer who was like, it could be an all year round wreath. So yeah, so that one, this one is from FG Normal and this was finish number 35. Okay, what am I on? Finish number 36. So yeah, finish number 36 is also just a small diamond painting. It's this compact mirror. Um, so yeah, it's um, I called it mandala mirror. It's like a double-sided, it's a mirror, double-sided, but the same thing. So yeah, this one is from GBFKE. And that was the last finish I had for the month of May. So finishes, what, 25 to 36 were all done in May. So I, May I had a lot of finishes, but a lot of them were just these small ones. So they were real quick projects. So let me gather my June stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, this one is finish number 37, my first finish of June. This is from GBFKE. It's a partial of this vase and fish. I think this is a 35 by 55 um, diamond painting, but yeah, the only thing diamond painted is the, the extra um, design on the vase and in the flowers and in uh, the fish. But yeah, no, this one is absolutely beautiful. This is one of those ones where even though it's not complete coverage, where the actual drills are on it makes sense. So it's really, really beautiful. So yeah, this one is from GBFKE. So that's finish number 37. So finish number 38 is just this small I love coffee coaster I've actually been using this so it it's been functional so <laughs> I put my coffee on top of it it hasn't like made the coffee like it hasn't melted from putting hot coffee on it so yeah this is my um, coffee coaster from DIY digital art okay so now the next one is not a diamond painting but I included it because it's beaded so and it was a project that I did so this is a beaded cross stitch it's just this small little deer here it's my very very first cross stitch my very first beaded cross stitch um, this was also from DIY digital art I was pondering whether to include this in my totals and I just did so I figure it has beads it's good enough for me <laughs> So yeah, and this thing took me longer to do than some of my diamond paintings that <laughs> are much bigger than this. So yeah, that one is number 39. So number 40 is this diamond painting here. This is from Victorious Moon. Um, they did send this to me as a review. It's a 40 by 40 square diamond painting and of this pink rose and 
Yeah. If you want to know my thoughts on it, go watch my completion review. So, so yeah, that's number 40. So 41, I actually have not recorded a completion review of this yet, so this will probably be the first time you see this uh, finish here. So um, this one is a, it's, it's called The Garden by Robin Mead. It is licensed to Crystal Canvas Art Designs. It's a 40 by 40 rhinestone drill. Um, so this is a complete, full rhinestone diamond painting and I enjoyed this so much that I actually ordered three more diamond paintings from Crystal Canvas Art Designs. So yeah, no, this one, this one is absolutely beautiful. I just have not recorded the review yet, so I won't say anything at this point. So yeah, this was finish number 41. So finish number 42 is this diamond painting here. This is from Koo Hall. I did not actually record the completion review as a separate video, but this, the completion review was part of my unboxing for this diamond painting. So I call this Angels Among Us. Um, I did do some extra blinging on this, the writing, and all the writing is, the, the white writing is in ABs, and then the angels are in rhinestones. And I thought this one turned out absolutely awesome. Like. I was so happy with the result of this one. So yeah, um, so this one, yeah, they did send this to me as a product review. So this was from Koo Hall. It's a 40 by 40 round. So where am I? Almost done. So number 43. We're on 43. This is these cactus keychains here. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't count these as separate there, but they're, they are one. So these are from Colorful DIY. Um, and yeah, no, these were just really fun. I think I might just use these to like hang on top of, I don't know, my tree during Christmas or might actually just use them as keychains. But yeah, this was, yeah, this was from Colorful DIY and it was my 43rd finish. Okay, so 44. This one is 44 here. This is from DP Clubs. Um, I haven't recorded the completion review of this yet, but it should be, it should be posted yesterday if everything is going to schedule. So, um, so yeah, this is from DP Clubs. It's just this partial with um, the word home on it. So here's my next one. This is also from DP Clubs. It is a tissue box. Also, I have not yet sealed this. Oops, I lost the drill there. Um, you should seal these things, especially if you're gonna use it. Well, I can't tell where I lost the drill. Um, it was probably me adding like an extra drill where there didn't need to be one. So yeah, this is just another tissue box here. I just finished this, so that's why it's just not yet ready um, but but yeah and I think this should be also in yesterday's video if I end up recording it correctly <laughs> okay my next done painting is this one here it's this panda it's this cute little like special shape panda, but it, it is actually one of those kind of full coverage pandas. So this is from DIY Choose. It's a 15 by 15 special drill. Um, the unboxing of this actually is scheduled for tomorrow. <laughs> so, well, tomorrow for when this video gets put up. So, um, but yeah, here, it's so cute. Okay, so this is finish number 46. So last one, a little bit bigger, so let me move you up, is this one here. This one is from Crafties. It's Evening Stars by Carla Gerard. It is licensed to Crafties. It's a 30 by 50 round with like rhinestone specials. I did 
add my own rhinestones. So the only rhinestones that came with this was actually the these gray rhinestones in the fence and then this blue rhinestone, but I did end up adding rhinestones here and there. I haven't recorded the completion review, so I don't wanna talk too much about it. But yeah, so I did just unbox this last week, so and the kidding up of this is actually not till Friday. So, so yeah, there is my last finish of June. I actually um, only fin I finished this on June 30th. So it was seriously my last finish of June. So yeah, that is 47 finishes for the first six months of 2021. And the last 37 to 47 were all in June, but there was a lot of small ones. So yeah, um, this took, I have so many diamond paintings like all around me now, I have to reorganize everything, but yeah, um, there is the last one. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if anyone has any suggestions for future videos, I'd love to know, but um, by next time of me doing this will probably be my all my 2021 finishes. I'm pondering whether to just do my last six months of 2021 and not have to take all of these ones out again. But yeah, because can you imagine if I did 47 now, there's a hypotheticalness of me doing another 47. So that could be close to 100. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's all for today. So. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.